Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of The Awesome Chef, coming to you live and direct right here from the Arakari Poolside from the Kiss City Sports Bar and Grill. Now my name is Anthony Snow, The Awesome Chef himself, and today with me inside the kitchen is Arakari's top chef, Ishana Washington. Now we have a new menu that we're introducing to Diana here, and it'll be exclusively at the Kiss City Sports Bar and Grill. And all of these meals on our new menu is indicative of Guyanese culture. Okay, now today what we're going to be doing for you is showing you how to make our Mr. Chunks Fry Rice and our Triple Dip Strip Chicken, which is deep fried. Okay, and this is going to be an awesome meal for family friends. It's quick, elegant, it's easy, but most of all, it's authentic and it tastes great, right? And this is the first time Kashad is making this meal with me, so she'll be assisting me and you'll see who's actually preparing your food when you come to the Kiss All right, now today, we have a few ingredients here that are necessary to make our Mr. Chung's fried rice. We have some fresh shallots, we have some fresh grated ginger, we have corn, we have some sweet peppers cut julienne style, we also have some bora, we also have some fresh onions, some celery, some carrots, and we have some fried egg that's already been chopped up. Now this is important to making our authentic Mr. Chung's fried rice. Okay, we don't use a lot of seasonings in our rice when we're actually cooking the rice. This way it's not overpowering. All of our seasonings are added toward the end. And this is very important for fresh cooking. This is very important for making your fried rice last a longer time, especially for your holding times if you're doing it for large events. Okay, so now we'll get started and we'll show you how this is done. All right, now we have already have our oil hot and we're looking at about 171 degrees Celsius or somewhere around 365 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this is perfect for frying your chicken in about five to 10 minutes depending on the thickness or the cut of your chicken. I love it. So Kishana, how much does this piece of chicken here weigh? Actually, a piece of this chicken weigh not more than two ounces. So it's about two ounces? About two ounces. Okay, so that's perfect for a chicken finger? Yes, it is. All right, excellent. Now, uh, is the triple dip process that we're doing here today? Yes, it is. Actually, the first thing we'll be doing, um, while well, this chicken's been marinated in some dry season for about a half hour or so. Okay. And then when we get into that, we're going to flour it into seasoned flour. So this flour is seasoned already? Yes, it is seasoned. It's All right. It's a little bit of dry season inside of here. Okay. And dry spices and... All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I know the recipe is a kind of secret, so, you know, but everyone out there, you know, you, you can experiment. If you want some of our direct recipes, when our cookbook comes out, you can go ahead and you can get the recipes on our websites for free, or you can buy the book and keep it there and help support the cost. All right, so we flour, we batter, and we flour. flour again, and then we fry. All right, let's see how, let's see how you get this done. So, first. Put the proper in the flour. So shake that off. Shake that off so it's not like a heavy. No, no. We don't want to get too much flour in here first. Yes. And then we will drop it in. The, we don't want too much of the, the batter. batter on top of it. So you just take your finger and lightly take it off like that. So you just want a little sticky. Yes. A little sticky. Not and is that much. batter seasoned as well? Yes, it's batter okay. is seasoned and dry seasoned also. As well. Okay. Yeah. And then you take and put it over here. Into the next bowl. Yes. All right. You sound a little nervous today. You're a little nervous? Yes, actually. It's my first day, so I'm Okay. <laughs> All right. At least you realize it's your first, which means she's going to be doing many more. All right. So. I have so many little boards, so it's okay. a little bit smoother. All right. So we rest the, yes. we rest the basket in the oil first. Yes. Correct. Because if you don't press it in the oil and you actually press it again, of it while it's not in the oil, we will have a little problem here that it will actually start to stick, stick to the basket. To the basket. Okay, so we want it to be nice and loose. Yeah. All right, so this has already been battered, uh, it's been floured, flour, battered, floured. So that's the triple dip that we're talking about. Excellent, excellent. And about how long that's going to take? That will cook for about um, three to five minutes. Three to five minutes? Yeah, because remember the chicken is not that thick. And we don't want to cook it too long because we don't want it to burn and we don't want it to be too dry inside. We just want a nice little crisp result, crisp outside and a nice juicy pepper inside. Okay, excellent. So you're going to continue to do these? Yes, I will. Right? Uh, so this should take you maybe about, we've got about what, like 
maybe two and a half, three pounds of chicken here. Yeah. Right? So this is gonna take maybe about 10 minutes. If that, okay. le less than 10 minutes, yeah. less than 10 minutes. And this can feed, and this can feed what? Healthy. Maybe about five people, six people? Yes, it could. Actually, um, you could put like two or three pieces per serving, so. Um, okay, yeah. 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 It'll work out. Yeah. All right, why is Kishana is dealing with that? Let me show you how to get this fried rice going. Okay, now a lot of people have problems um, cooking an authentic Chinese fried rice. And the reason why is because everybody tries to make a shortcut. They try to buy these packs of seasonings and all this stuff. And let me tell you what, it doesn't turn out the same, right? The secret to real Chinese food is freshness all of the time. This is not your typical corner shop Chinese restaurant food. This is fresh, authentic, Guyanese Chinese style food. First thing, it's hard to cook proper Chinese food without the right food. So we have a very big Chinese wok. We're gonna be making some nice fried rice. We have some rice here, already made. Now this rice, let me just use this to show you, this rice is loose. This rice isn't clammy, okay? And we've actually put some soy sauce on the rice to add a little bit of salt and some flavor to it as well as the color that we need. We don't overdo it because remember, we still have to add more ingredients and we don't want the rice to become blackened or burnt because we have excess ingredients in it, right? Now, I like to do my cooking very fast. I put my wok on the fire, let it get a little hot. Got some oil right here, a little sweet bottle. Not much that you need. And then you start with your ingredients. It takes the longest amount of time to cook. Your carrots. Throw in your carrots, because your carrots need to start cooking right away. Your gora. Throw that in. It needs to start cooking right away. You want to start flavoring that with a little bit of onion. Because that is important. You're not putting all of the onions in right away. If you still need some fresh onions, they go in towards the end. This is probably one of the most important ingredients in a fried rice. Fresh grated ginger. Without this, we do not have a real fried rice. Inside this bottle here, I have a mixture of Chinese sauce, soy sauce, fresh ginger oil, and also a little bit of pepper extract. Very important for flavor. Why my bora and my carrots are frying up with the onion. Pour a little bit of this in there to start to add a little sweetness to the otherwise bland bora and carrots. The carrots naturally have its own sweetness already, but this is going to help bring it out. Why this is frying now, I'll go ahead and I'll start to add my rice. Now it depends on how much rice you're adding. You add all of this rice, there's a lot of fresh ingredients that we have in here. Remember guys, things get hot. When you start to mix this up, so that everything can fry up very well with each other. The good thing about using a wok is your cooking is actually very fast. Turn back down my heat a little bit. Heat control is very important. When you're too hot, you have big problems. And this is going to help you mix up your food. This big rock is great. And there's a few places right here in Diana where you can pick up some nice quality rock. And I'll share that on the website for you guys, okay? Let's let this rice fry up a little bit before we continue to add the rest of our ingredients. And in the meantime, we'll check on Kishana and see how things are coming with the chicken. All right, Kishana, how are you coming with the chicken right now? Actually, good. Um, right. Back over here. Let's see what's going on. All right, good. Nothing's sticking. Exactly so, because as soon as you come in, then you give it the manager, so you just raise and you just like to shake it off. You shake it off? Yes, so everything is all right. Back All right, excellent. So, we're gonna do off this batch first then? Yes, then we'll put it in the other batch. We don't want to put too much in there because we don't want it to be all You don't want it to yeah. clumpy. All right, good. All right, we're back here with our fried rice. As you see now, 
I'll write this up for you, like color, right? But some people like a darker, maybe kind of a browner looking fried rice. That is why we have our special mix right here in our sweet bottle. Go ahead and squirt a little there. This is also going to have some salt and other flavors that we need to our fried rice. Stir it up, mix it good. You can see and you can smell it so far. You smell that ginger. That ginger is awesome. I love that. I love that smell. Simply, simply love. I'm going to add a little bit more ginger because I like it. Now we'll start to add our shadows. We're going to add our corn because our rice is almost done. You know what? Put all of it. I like corn. Corn works out. I'm gonna add some more fresh onion. Not too much, one or two onion. But onion adds its own sweetness as well. Add a little bit of celery, not too much. And we go ahead and we'll fry this up. I'll turn back up my heat because now I need some fast high heat to get this bad boy done real fast. Now remember, the point of what the awesome chef does is we like to cook a lot of healthy meals so we don't pack it full of like human dry spices or seasonings or MSG, we don't really use that stuff. But we do have some seasonings that are relevant to what we're cooking. Now today, we have our special mix of fried rice seasonings that we put together ourselves, okay? And this, is, this has things like onion powder, a little garlic powder, some basic all-purpose seasoning, things that you will need, and nothing that we use actually has MSG, correct. And now you can sprinkle on your seasoning onto your rice. A little bit to add some flavor. Not too much salt in here. We don't like to cook with a lot of sodium. Not good for you. All right. Now our egg has already been fried, chopped up, measured out. You don't try to fry your egg inside your fried rice unless you really, really know what you're doing. Or you're gonna burn up your egg and mess up your fried rice and your fried rice is gonna be all sticky and clammy and not really a very nice fried rice. Go ahead. I got here about a couple of chopped up eggs, maybe about four to five fried eggs, right, lightly fried, chopped, not scrambled. So add that in. Now it's time. I love this spoon and I love this wok. It's cooking so nice. Mix everything up nicely. Finally, toward the end, we add our julienne sweet pepper. This is not just for garnishment, but also for a little bit of flavor. That sweetness from the corn, the little bitter tartness from the sweet pepper, it really brings out the flavor of the saltiness in the rice. The point here is a very fresh, healthy fried rice. Not too much seasoning, not too much salt, not too much pepper. All right, so our fried rice is actually finished and it's ready for us to put it into the serving tray to go out to our guests who are eagerly waiting. I'm probably very hungry right now. Turn off the fire. And another good thing about a wok is, though it's big, it's not very heavy. This is what our fried rice looks like when it's finished. We go ahead, shake it off right here. Set our guests to get their meals. And remember, as always, presentation is very, very important. If you don't know how to add a nice presentation to your food, then you probably shouldn't be in the kitchen. Food should look as good as it tastes, if not better. This over here, a little garnishment, a little bit more garnishment to it. And voila, our Mr. Chung's 
fried rice is completely finished here. Let's go and see, the chicken should be ready by now. We've already got one batch of chicken ready, Kishana. Okay, so this, this here, let's just check it out. Let us check it out. Nice. Golden brown on the outside. Nice and juicy and tender on the inside. Nice, juicy and tender on the inside. I like how you said that. <laughs> All right, how, how much longer on the other batch? Because our customers look very hungry right yes, now. Two more minutes on it. Two more minutes? Two more minutes on the other batch, and then we'll be good to go. All right, and from what I understand, the Kiss Kitty is now a 24 hour restaurant. Yes, it is. So we could get, we could get meals like this Anytime. 24 hours? All right, okay, and we're plating our meal right now for our guests. Uh, Kishana, it's three pieces, correct? Yes. All right, so that's about six ounces of chicken. So this is a pretty hefty meal. So a meal like this goes for about 1,500, right? Yes. Okay, and this looks like it's enough to feed two people. So. Well, actually, it's not just a good serving of meal, but also it is a healthy meal because we will be putting on the side on top of it. Okay, so we still have to get our salad and our garnishment. Yes, we do. All right, good. And that's yes. going to be from the cold storage bar before we go out. Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, I know I have two guests who are like really hungry right now. Let me get this stuff out to them and finish garnishing it. Okay. I'm going to get this one out to the fire. The chicken looks, chicken looks like it's about done. All right, excellent. Let me go ahead, and I'll be the waiter today. And I'll go ahead and take this out there. All right. All right, everyone, uh, once again, I would like to thank you for watching this episode, our first episode here, live and direct from the Kiss KD of the Aussie Chef Cooking Show. Uh, once again, my name is Anthony Snow, Chef Anthony Snow, that is, and this is also Chef Deshaun of Washington. Deshaun, do you want to say anything to the audience before we close our show? Well, well I would like to say to you, if they want to see this, you can see here. <laughs> And eat some great, awesome, healthy meals. Come down to this city's food farmers, and I promise you, it will be a good experience. Delicious meal, great atmosphere, brand new staff, everything. All right, excellent. Uh, just to let the public know, Every Tuesday, we'll be filming our show here live and direct from the Kiss Kitty Sports Bar and Grill, located at the Aracara Resort Poolside. Okay, uh, if you go to our Facebook page or our website, you like it, you share it, you can actually win a free seat to come here and have some free food during our tasting. And this is to encourage all of you, and if you would like to know what's on the menu, you can go ahead and check out the Kiss Kitty Sports Bar and Grill menu on the Kiss Kitty Sports Bar and Grill page right on Facebook. Every week we'll be featuring something from the menu, correct? Yes, from the menu. All right, great. So I think probably next week is our Calypso wing. Yes, we will be doing Calypso wings. All right, good. And the week after that, we've got like English baked potatoes. We've got, there's too many things. We've got a sandwich here called the Brother Bob, which is a vegetarian sandwich, strictly Aito. Excellent, right? So uh, I'm looking forward to that because I'm not really the biggest vegetarian person. But if you wouldn't even know vegetarian food. And I know, I, I tasted it the other day and it was it was awesome. I was surprised. I thought it was like a light minced chicken, but it wasn't. It was actually like soybean and stuff like that. So yeah, it was really, really cool. All right, once again, I would like to thank you guys. I would also like to thank our sponsors. I would like to thank our production team, MarkChan.com. Okay, I would like to thank the Kiss City Sports Bar and Grill for making it possible for us to be here. I would like to thank our customers and everyone who's here supporting us right now. And if it wasn't for our customers, we wouldn't be here today. Yeah, you know, if you guys didn't need us, we wouldn't be here to do this for you. So definitely, it's reciprocated. We need you just as much as you need us. Remember, we also do catering, weddings, events, birthday party, right? There's also special benefits for JFWW members uh, out there. So any job fit members out there realize there's special benefits. We've got all rental facilities. There's too much going on here. There's a pool for the kids. 
in here if you just want to exercise. So we've got a gym here, got a full open bar, a billiards area, so you can come play pools with your friends. We've got video games, and we've got a cinema here. Okay, and uh, also like like I enjoy the fact I love the cinema. I love the cinema atmosphere. It's really really good. It's like a perfect dinner in a movie concept. So now I can come, I can buy dinner, bring my family, bring my kids, and just for the same price that I'm paying for my food, I get to watch a free movie without having to pay for that. That is so excellent. So thank you very much for allowing me to come into your kitchen and bully you a little bit. Uh, <laughs> You're always welcome. <laughs> all right, well, I'm glad to be here, part of the team. Uh, thank you once again, so let's celebrate. Bye. Bye. All right.